This video is all about how I got my product into John Lewis. So it is not an easy process and people tell you all the time that these retail buyers in big, multiple high street retailers are really difficult to get hold of. And it's true and it is really hard to get your product in, but it is possible. I used a very different method to what most people do um, and I'm going to describe it in this video. So let's get stuck in. So basically, I designed a pushchair product. John Lewis was the retailer I wanted to be in. You know, they are that premium high street retailer uh, for nursery products. So what I did through uh, trade shows and the contacts that I've made with distributors and other people within the nursery industry, I found someone who had recently retired who used to deal with the John Lewis buyer for nursery. And I appointed him, having met him and checked out that he was a good guy, I was going to get on with him. I appointed him as a non-exec director of the company. And then not only did he advise me from his 20 years experience in the nursery industry, but he also had all those contacts in retail already. And he was friends actually with the John Lewis buyer. And so he simply gave her a call and she was very happy to, to have a meeting on his recommendation. And then off we went to John Lewis headquarters in Victoria for that meeting. The meeting actually went very well and we ended up with a John Lewis listing. Now you could say, well, that, that's luck, but it isn't luck. And you could achieve the same thing in the industry you're in. So let's just say that you've got a tool product and that you want to be in the likes of Screwfix and you want a meeting with the Screwfix buyer. Well, the thing to do is to work out what other companies are already in with Screwfix, so the likes of Makita and Bosch and all of the other power tool manufacturers. Um, and then from there, you can do some research, whether that's online uh, through LinkedIn, for example, uh, or you could do more kind of personal research, talking to people in the industry, as I say, going to shows, trying to meet the right people. And again, you could try and find someone then who maybe um, used to work in a company uh, that was dealing with their buyer at Screwfix, someone who's recently retired, uh, maybe, and then you could approach them to see, you know, they don't have to be a non-exec director, maybe they could just be a consultant for you for a bit, maybe you could just pay them for the introduction. Um, but that way you could get in then with those buyers and get that meeting that could be absolutely critical to the future success of your business. Now the final technique you could use if all that fails is often there are sales agents who have those contacts who are already selling in or previously have sold in different products to the buyers that you want to speak to. So it may be that your best option actually is to find a sales agent who again, maybe they're gonna take a cut uh, if you do get a deal, maybe you could just pay them for the introductions, um, but that's another option if you cannot find the right person to work with who can get you that all important meeting with the buyer. Do check out this next video. It's all about how to create the perfect pitch for your product to make sure that that retail buyer wants to do the deal and wants to stock your